Hi everybody, it's Dawn from Crafting on the Green. I hope you're well. Um, today I wanted to show you how to make this really cute, this card and this tag, um, using the Awesome Otters stamp set, which you can get free with the celebration that starts in January 2022. So not long to go. Uh, you get this free uh, with a £45 spend. Um, and it's adorable. So who doesn't want a freebie? Um, so let me show you how I made these. They're nice and quick, nice and simple. Um, and just totally adorable. <laughs> so we're going to start, I'm using the basic uh, white note cards and envelopes that you can get from Stampin' Up. So it's a pre-cut card. Um, it's size roughly three and a half by five inches. Um, and then I've got a tag here that is roughly two by five inches. So what we want to do to start I've got my bits and bobs pre-cut, so we'll do the card first. So I've got here a piece of balmy blue, and this is two and a half by four and a quarter. Then I have got a piece of basic white, and that is two and a quarter by four, so just a quarter of an inch shorter. And then I've got a piece of Bermuda Bay here, which is half an inch by four, four, no, by three and a half. Um, so that's all you're going to need to start with. And then I'm going to take the piece of basic white and I've got my otter stamp looking very cute in the water. So I'm going to stamp him using memento and pop him just somewhere below halfway but not quite near the bottom. There we go. And whilst I've got my ink out, I'm also going to stamp the greeting, which says, you are utterly awesome. Very much kind of card that my nephew would love. So um, I think I will give this to him for his birthday next year. There we go. So now I just want to add some colour. So for the otter, I have got the dark and light uh, soft suede stamping up blends. So for... For his fur, I'm going with the dark around the edge, and then for his belly, I shall use the light one. So it's very cute when you start adding colour and seeing him come to life. So I am absolutely loving the products that we've got in the new mini catalogue that comes out in January. Um, some really really gorgeous things but I also adore the fact you can get some wonderful freebies from the celebration so it's, it's definitely worth a look if you if you don't know much of it or if you'd like to have a look I can email you a pdf of the catalogue or send you a paper copy if you're in the UK Okay, there we go. So that's our cute little guy. I've got um, the light basic black and I'm going to use that for his nose. There we go. And then for the water, I have got, um, I'm going to go with dark balmy blue for the, for the main bit of water. And I'm not worrying about it being um, particularly neat or anything. I don't want it to look like it's gone right to the edge. Um, but I'm also not worrying about it being in a straight line. I quite like the, the messy look when it comes to things like this. So something like that. And then I've got here the dark and light Bermuda Bay which I think adds a nice little bit of brightness to the water. Nice bit of sort of sea green. Um, so I'm just running that along, along the swirls. Just to kind of add a bit of a highlight really. Because as we know, the water is all sorts of different colours. And then I'm going to use the dark Bermuda Bay for these water splashes. Again, just a little bit more brightness. I love the Bermuda Bay colour. It's so bright and wonderful. Okay. <clears throat> so there we go. So he's all coloured in. So now what I want to do is stick him onto 
onto his blue background. It looks very smart, doesn't it, when we give it a blue background. So let me find my glue. Oh, it's a very gluey glue. And we'll get that stuck on. Somewhere roughly in the centre. And then I'm going to bring in the card. Now I'm, I've got the, the strip. I want it to go just under halfway. I'm not worried about be, it being exactly halfway or anything. Um, obviously you can stick it wherever you would like. Um, the thing for me is to try and make sure it's straight. That is, that is my aim. Looks like that's a tinsy bit too long as well, but not to worry because we can chop that off afterwards. So once you're happy that you've got it stuck where you want it, then we want to stick on top the little topper that we've just made. And again, we'll try and get it kind of central. Um, I think about there should be should be about right. Give that a good push down, make sure it's stuck. And there we go, we have our card. See, nice and straightforward, lovely and simple. And if it is overhanging a bit on the, on the bit that you don't want there, just grab your snips and we'll just try and cut in a straight line. Do we just chop that off, just like that. So then we've got our card. And then next we're going to do our... Oh, our tag so I'm going to use the tag topper punch that I've got here if you don't have these they're wonderful so easy to make tags from so this is cut two inches wide so you've got your slots here two inches inch and a half and an inch and so as long as you cut it to the right width then you just slot that in as far as it goes push it down get rid of those bits and then we've got our, our topper for our tag so you can get a few different types of uh, tag toppers from Stampin' Up, but I, I definitely recommend investing in one because it's so handy. So now we've got that, we're going to work on our little piece of basic white, and it's going to be very similar to, um, to the last one. So we shall stamp our, our little otter somewhere near the bottom-ish. This time obviously it is going over the edges because it's a bit shorter. And what I want to do, I want to say it's birthday time. However, the stamp is actually too long. It would come off the page. So what I'm going to do is using, I may have used this earlier, using a post-it note, I'm just going to block off the word time. And we shall ink up. So all we're inking up is the bit that says it's, uh, it's birthday. That's all that's going to have ink on it for now. See, we've not got anything on time, so we shall just pop its birthday somewhere about there. And then I did have a baby wipe, but I also have a new kitten and I think it stole it. So we'll just make sure that the, the rest of the wording is nice and clean. So just stamp that off a few times, make sure it's nice and dry because we don't want to risk it leaving any marks on the tag. And then I'm going to do the same again, but I'm going to block off its birthday and leave time. So we're just going to ink up that bit. And then we shall lay that on roughly in the middle, just like that. So that's the easiest way to mask off your words. So now I've got this, I'm going to colour him in the same way again, doing the water and um, the same colours. So I'm just going to use the dark balmy blue for the water. But this time I am going to go right to the bottom. Again, not worrying about being massively neat with it. As long as I can kind of get some colour on there, that's all that matters. 
Okay, so that's the dark balmy blue. Now for the light Bermuda Bay, we'll just give it the highlights again. Just like that. <clears throat> and then the dark balmy uh, Bermuda Bay, sorry, for the splashes. I'm trying to be a little bit neater with this dark Bermuda Bay because obviously it it will be very noticeable if if you make a mess with that one. Okay, then we've got the dark soft suede for his furry bits. I say him, it could be a her. You know, I found out recently, I, I found myself watching one of those animal documentaries and I didn't realise that for the first few months of an otter's life, it can't actually swim. So it relies on hitching a ride with mum. And then when the mum has to go and catch food, she inflates it by licking its fur. And it puts air into the fur, so they just leave it bobbing on the surface while they disappear. Did not know that at all. I was quite shocked. There you go, lots of random facts. Um, okay. Let's get this one done. Seems to be a bit darker. I think I've used the other side of the pen, which must have more ink, but that's fine, it will settle. So, there we go, and we've got the light basic black for his nose. Okay, so now just to finish it off, nice and simple, all we're going to do is glue this straight onto the tag. Now obviously it's your choice if you want to add embellishments or ribbons. Um, obviously for a tag I would normally add some ribbon at the top. Um, I don't have any any blue ribbon apparently so I found out um, and so that's why I haven't added any however we do have we could get away with this nice green here this is a soft succulent um, this is called the open weave ribbon so we can get away with that because it's quite a sea green almost in this ribbon oh. So I want roughly six inches of that. And wheel that back up because it all came undone. And all I'm going to do, the easiest way for me to do ribbons for tags is to fold it in half and then sort of just squish up the end so that you can get it poked straight through. And there we go. Now we have our tag and our card, which, like I say, is quite a nice, simple one. So um, hopefully that's made you fall in love with these otters because they're very cute. So you've also got one that's laying there holding a fish um, and one that's ready to party. So, um, yeah, very cute. Um, but, yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, I hope you love the otters as much as I do. Um, and uh, yeah, if I can help or if you want to have a copy of the catalogue or anything like that, please let me know uh, and I can get one sent over to you. Um, but yeah, if you like what you see, please uh, do subscribe uh, and don't forget to uh, ring the bell so that you're notified when I put out a new video. It's my New Year's resolution to try and be a bit more regular, so hopefully there'll be loads more coming your way. Um, and yeah, thanks so much. Take care and I will see you soon. Bye bye.